So in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at something that I started over a year. Actually, I started it over a year and a half, two years ago before I even got the boat. Um, I was thinking to myself, you know, I want to be able to get around. I want something that's portable, something that I can just pick up and throw in the dinghy if I need to, and we can go to the store. And nothing ever seems to work out like you planned. Now, I knew for a fact that this bike was going to be the ticket. So, it folds up, folds in half, handlebars fold down, and it just, it folds right in half. It's easy to do. You grab it by here, and then you try to carry it into the boat. The problem is, this thing weighs almost 50 pounds. And while 50 pounds is not a absorbent amount of weight, it is, however, a pain in the butt to get on and off the boat. Now, the unit also did not fold up small enough that I could get it under a bed or I could get it uh, you know, in a compartment that didn't take up a ton of space. But by far, this model that we I had custom made out in China, I had uh, quite a few of them made. Um, it's got the 500 watt motor, it's got the 12 amp hour battery, it's, I mean, it's just got the fat tires. It is the funnest out of anything that we have ridden. Uh, Polly and I rode it all around Key West. I mean, we, we spent a day on these things and we still didn't drain the batteries down. This is a blast but it's just not practical for our boat due okay. to the fact that trying to get two of them on and off the boat it just it turned out to be more of a hassle than uh, uh and more of a hindrance and you never wanted to take them off and then i did take it off and instead of and i left them on the dock one time and a guy came in and he waked it and this thing went swimming she west but Anyway, like I said, my rating for the most fun, this is number one. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, let's go a little lighter. So I ordered the uh, Swagtron. Now supposedly, by, by the specs, this Swagtron is supposed to be able to get 17 miles. Now, I grabbed it, I took it off the boat, I headed over to Dad's house on it, which was four miles away. 3.8 mile, 3 miles away. By the time I got there, it was dead. It says it'll do 17 miles on a single charge, and that is just not the case. I contacted Swagtron. Unfortunately, their customer service is the worst. Um, it does fold up. It is quite a bit lighter. It weighs 30 pounds. Um, you know, it's got a neat folding mechanism, just you know, just like the other one. This one, the pedals fold up on it, and of course the handlebar goes down as well. So this unit got quite a bit smaller, but it still has a fairly large footprint for what it is. Um, I could see keeping this if it did what it said it was going to do. But there's no sense in having a bike that I can't go to a store that's a mile and a half, two miles away. And when you go to pedal it, it has no gears. So if you try to pedal it, you're doing top speed of three miles an hour. And by that time, the bike takes over and tries to take off on its own. And basically you're pedaling in, in, in the air. This one had a full range of gears. It had uh, seven speeds. You know, it. If for some reason your battery were to die, which it didn't, um, you could definitely pedal it. Holly pedaled it most most of the time she rode it anyway, um, her blue one. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's next? Well, I see these folks down in Lauderdale, and they're zipping around on these things. And I'm like, wow, that is awesome. So. 
basically the way these work is you have to learn to ride them. And learning to ride them is not that bad. But um, the problem is, and the only problem, I mean it's super portable, super small, super lightweight. The only problem with it is, is that you can't ride it for an extended period of time. Um, about the farthest I can go on this is about two miles. My calves are killing me. And I have decent sized calves. They're not bad. I mean, it just... And then when you go to try to carry a load with you, it throws your center of gravity off. So I was having to do things. I mean, we ran back and forth to the uh, you know, laundry mat uh, a couple times on it. And I could carry all the laundry and stuff. So it's not a bad unit. It's really quick. It does up to 20 miles an hour when you take the governor off of it. And like I said, it's a lot of fun to ride. However, I saw, so we show up in Lauderdale. I see the scooter sitting on the side of the road. And basically it's laying, the scooter's laying on the ground. And I'm thinking, wow, some guy dropped his scooter and left it there. And then I saw this lime on the side of it. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. And so I started talking to a buddy of mine. Actually, the buddy got me in to this mess, uh, Ricky. And he's like, oh, these are the greatest things since sliced bread. You just pick them up. Scan it, hop on it, and go ride it. I'm like, that's pretty cool. So we've got scooters for adults. So I hopped on Amazon and ordered one. And it was supposed to be here yesterday. And needless to say, it's not here as usual. Uh, every time I want something and I want it in a speedy, uh, I, I get hosed. Which is all the time. He wants it and he wants it now. Well, that's why I order on Amazon. That's why I pay the price. I mean, when you pay the price, I mean, I could go on eBay and I could have gotten it, you know, forty, fifty dollars cheaper if I wanted it here in a month with uh, from China. But that's, you know, I wanted to have it to test it out. But this one uh, is going down to Sailor Man. It's going to be for sale. Um, it it just like I said, it is the funnest thing, and it will probably be the last thing I sell. After you restore the uh, salt water. Yeah, after I take it totally apart and go through it, make sure all the bearings are square. That one, the Swagtron, is going back to Amazon tomorrow because instead of sending me a new battery, which I suspect is the issue, Swagtron said, no, just return it and we'll, then you can get another one. Well, I'm not going to do that. If, if that's the way their customer service works, then I really don't have interest in doing uh, business with that you know, particular company. And like I said, the... Without the gears on this one, that's going to leave you stranded somewhere. This one, I never worried once about being stranded. This thing is awesome, but you get some really weird looks. It's kind of like walking around with a uh, vlogging camera in your hand with a big mic sticking off of it. You uh, you get some really funny looks. But So when the scooter comes in, we will take a look at that, and then we'll cut to straight over to when the scooter uh, got here and we tested it out. So today we're going to have a look at the folding scooters like we discussed earlier. Um, it took a little while to get here. Uh, this is the Swagtron Swagger 5. Uh, basically, it's a Show Me Me a knockoff, which is what Bird and uh, Lime you know, use as their rental scooters. So I chose to go with that instead of with the Segway. Um, Segway is quite a bit more expensive. Um, so we're going to take a look at this, and then we have another knockoff of the Show Me uh, that should be here this afternoon, and we'll do that one too. But let's dig in, and we'll go over some of the features. box first impressions are it seems fairly stout so that's the charger okay. well, I guess this one 
doesn't come with the handlebars and stalls, which that's fine. Not the end of the world. I guess that clicks in place and that slaps up. That's pretty much it. How heavy is it? It says it weighs 27 pounds. Um, we'll do an actual. Whoa, what happened here? I guess it's just over it. Kickstand. Uh, first thing I've noticed is this this deck is not very wide on this one. But the show me is probably about another inch off. I do like the tail light on the back. Um, I wasn't real big on the step brake, so I wanted a handbrake, which we got. Is that a step brake as well? No. What is what is that little piece on the that is how you, when you take down the... It's going to hook on to here. And that's how you carry it. Well, that's pretty slick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the way the, uh, the show me's are. And then you step on it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you got to do that. Okay. <clears throat> read out up here like the show me's do but uh, instead it runs on an app on your cell phone which is fine anyway because you keep the app open or you know use google maps to i don't know what that little sticker says but i'm assuming it says don't lose the little ring that was in there do you want me to read it to you that's it i mean i would say that's a fairly simple setup So as far as the no-name knockoff goes, it seems to be a little smaller box, obviously. The box, box is pretty plain Jane. But first impressions, about the same. Look. Surprisingly similar. Again, this one has a kickstand. It has to flip up. Handlebars, of course. They don't seem to be as easy to flip up. That one might take some rating. Then I guess to put these on is just a simple plug and play deal. Look pretty similar. So I guess we'll put the screws in, we'll put this one on charge, and we'll test them all out later. So today we're going to be checking out the uh, Swagtron Swagger 5 and the Show Me Knockoff. Now, one thing I've learned about the Show Me Knockoff is that. It is not reprogrammable, like they said. But one of the noticeable differences is that this has no screen. It just gives you your battery indication, where the Swagtron gives you your battery indication, your speed. Now, both of them connect via Bluetooth. Um, the bell on this one's a little bit more sophisticated than that. <laughs> They both have rear disc brakes, which probably will need to be adjusted. Now the other thing with this one is the knockoff is that the holes are not drilled properly, so you can't even get all the screws in it. Both have front headlights and both have 250 watt motors. So let's take them for a spin and see what we think. The thing with this scooter is that you must give it a kick to get going. Fairly smooth acceleration. Doesn't do too bad in the grass. A 
One thing I did notice though is it's a little rough with these solid rubber tires compared to the uh, pneumatics. And it didn't take Holly too long and she seems pretty comfortable on it already. Are you mad at? Are you? So what did you think? Well, it was less than, uh, I mean, we made it down to Ricky and Heidi's. The total on Which is, wait, for people that don't know where Ricky and Heidi live. <laughs> they're two miles away, so. No, not even. According to this, we went 4.1 miles. That's including you and Ricky's excursion? Yeah, and Ricky and I took them out and did a little excursion. So at four miles, this one was creeping home. This one still had three bars and was doing fine with Holly on it. But when I was on it, it would go down to one bar. So they're definitely not, they are on the lower end of scooters. Um, bang for the buck, I guess they're not that bad, but they're not like the lines and the birds that I've ridden. This one is better in acceleration than this one. This one seems to have a little higher top speed with a 100 pound person on it than it does with a 190 pound person on it. Where the uh, Lime, which was the Segway uh, E2, did 18, you know, 16 to 18 with me on it. And the batteries never moved and we rode all the way from Las Olas to uh, back to the house, which was probably three miles, or man, nah, probably two miles and it never even dropped in a battery bar. I mean, the other problem is, is that now this one won't take a charge. And we're gonna put this one on charge and let Aiden go take it and run and see until he runs out of battery. And then, we'll go get then we'll go get him in the car. I didn't seem to notice too much of a difference in the two. No, the you notice this one had a little better acceleration? Not really, I mean, you know, and me, I'm not, want to mat it and go but i took a second to get used to the cruise control aspect of it i kind of like the cruise control though i know you kind of didn't but if you just tap your brakes or tap the throttle it goes right off but it's kind of nice so you don't have to sit there and mat your thumb when you're on a long straight right. haul like we were i rode what was it, the lime or the bird or the bolt lime i rode the lime which was a segue for 30 seconds to a minute, maybe. Well, they were handlebars where it seemed like they were way up here. These are more at a comfortable spot for a five foot tall person. Okay. The throttle was much jumpier. I had much more case of whiskey throttle on. It was still a thumb push, so it's not that, but it seems like you push it a little bit and enough to get to go, you're like flying forward. These have a much more gradual Acceleration. Acceleration that it's more comfortable for a wee like me. So maybe the actual M365 uh, that has better batteries, it's the exact same unit, only with better batteries and a better, you know, Which, it's not the knockoff. It'll be that one. It'll be this one. Yeah. See, I, I like, I drove this one first and it was great. And then I drove this one. And I really didn't have, besides the, no wait. Well, I think that, I mean, the throttle on the Swagtron's a little chintzier. That one's kind of big and it, it feels better. This one's got a little bit more wobble in the steering down there than this one did. Or no, actually it was this one that had the wobble in the steering. <laughs> Both of them felt like you were riding down a um, Chattahoochee road. When you're on the sidewalk, you're like, well, they're, <laughs> they're <laughs> solid rubber tires. Yeah. So if exactly. you had air tires, they would absorb it, but then you run the risk of having a flat. flat so. It just takes some getting used to, and the braking on the, um, the braking seemed to be more responsive on the, whatever the other one that's not that's the Swagtron the, called, yes. The knockoff. The knockoff, okay. 365 knockoff. The Swagtron's brakes are not good, and the back wheel on the Swagtron is doing this. So, honestly, if this one doesn't take a charge or, or can't, I can't figure out why it's going to take a charge, then I think they're going to both go back and we're going to get non knockoffs. So, I don't but like. We'll go back to the drawing board and we'll see where we are. But 
as far as the scooter aspect versus the bike versus the portability. No, yeah, super, like you just jump on it Super and portable and you just hop on it and go. I mean, they are definitely. Yeah, I think boat-wise, this versus a bike. Is way better. This is, yeah, this is the way to go. I mean, I love the bikes, especially in Key West. They were so much fun. Well, but we didn't try these in Key West. I have a feeling these would be even better in Key West. But what is, what, how do we, like, these aren't the lime, so you can get on them and go whoever you are. What are we going to do in order to say we want to go into a bar or a... We're going to lock them. You run a lock through both wheels. So you just or you pick them up and carry them with you and set them next to your table. So stay tuned next week as we break out the Show Me Me 365 and the new Segway E4. Space between where I smile.